Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As you come into the room, be sure to drop your crowns and your location. I want to see where you guys are at. We're going to do a quick live to talk about some Real Housewives of Potomac related news. And I will be going live again shortly thereafter to talk about some Real Housewives of Atlanta news. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. And if you missed anything from the past couple of days, you've missed a lot. There were some Real Housewives of New York news, some Real Housewives of New Jersey news, some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills news. Be sure to check that out here on the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. We're also live on multiple platforms on our Facebook, the Kempire and Kempire Daily on Facebook. If you're not subscribed or following there, be sure to so you're not missing out on anything. None of these platforms are secure. Lord. <laughs> so be sure you're following me on everything. We're also live on our TikTok. We're live on Twitch and Twitter. Everything there is at the Kempire. Shout out to everyone that's already in the chat. I see you guys. Let me just go to the comments and see what you guys are talking. Birmingham, UK, I know it's already late there. What's going on? QK, it is live. And I hope you're on better behavior today. Uh, Delcenia, what's going on? Samaya, what's going on? Shout out to all my mods. Guys, shout out to my mods. I know yesterday you guys had a hard time figuring out. Look, one thing that I love about the channel is that you're able to share your opinions. But as always, your opinion should be constructive. And when we have a guest, when we have a guest here on the channel, you should always be respectful. The same way that you'd be respectful of anyone, any other guest coming in your home, I expect you guys to treat them better than you treat me. <laughs> Y'all know I can take it, but I always expect you guys to be respectful of a guest. If you don't like someone, <laughs> come back tomorrow when it's just you and I. <laughs> Either way, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Welcome back. We have already over 100 something people watching this video. We have to talk about the Real Housewives of Potomac. I've been itching to talk about this with you guys just because it's been busy since last night. I, I wanted to go live and talk about this story. As you know, we've been talking about the latest season of the Real Housewives of Potomac, and a lot has been happening. A lot has been happening. But one of the stories that we reported on was Robin Dixon. Robin Dixon, as you saw on the previous episode, said that the producers pretty much did a voiceover making it seem as if she was talking with Giselle about the Eddie Acefo rumors. If you don't know about the Eddie Acefo rumors, I'll give you a quick catch up. <laughs> there was a blog. Once upon a time, there was a blog. <laughs> All About the Team had this exclusive, and they said that Eddie, Eddie allegedly was cheating on Dr. Wendy Acefo. That made the rounds before the season even premiered. We reported on it. We talked about it. Blah, 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 blah. Fast forward to this season of The Real Housewives of Potomac. Giselle has brought those rumors from the blog on the show. It's caused drama with Wendy. It ended any sort of friendship that Wendy had with Giselle. But as you saw on not last week's episode, but the episode before that, it seemed as if Robin was having that conversation with Giselle about the any rumors. So when Wendy confronted everyone about what Ashley had said to her outside, Robin said she didn't know. She didn't talk about it. She, she, she didn't know what she was talking about. Well, in a new interview, Wendy throws Robin right under a bus. She throws her under a bus and says... Robin was the one who brought the rumors to me originally, but we'll get to that. Let me just show you some proof. Shout out to everyone that's already in the, in the chat. I love seeing the crowns. I love seeing where you guys are watching from. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you should. You're getting daily and consistent hot topics, not just about reality TV. I know right now it seems it's all about reality TV. It's just there's a lot of news going on in reality TV. There's a lot of news, but we have to talk about Steph Curry's parents. What's going on with that? We will talk about it. We will talk about it. Be sure to follow me on my social media, everything at the Kempire or at Kempire Daily, where you're getting under a minute hot topics. But let's get into this. So do you guys love this photo of Robin? <laughs> I love this photo of Robin. <laughs> well, this is where allegedly she said there was a voiceover. She says that there was a voiceover in this particular scene that we saw. <sighs> 
these production companies, I'm not going to even say truly original because it was a different production company in Beverly Hills using a voiceover in a situation where it wasn't necessarily happening. I'm just like, that's kind of shady. It's not kind of shady. It really is shady. Right? It's like, I would, and that's why I wouldn't sign up to do reality TV because you sort of sign over your life for them to give an, uh, a whole narrative that might necessarily be true. However, in this particular incident, Robin is lying again. But it should be no surprise to us that Robin may have lied to us. She's been lying to us about her, rela her relationship with Juan, allegedly. Okay, I've digressed. <laughs> Let's move on. So you may have seen this story a few days ago. Robin was confronted by a fan in her comments. And the fan said this, Robin, as a fellow Aries woman, if I said something, I said it. Not going to act clueless. I will tell you I said it and the chips will fall where they may after that. You're not giving Aries energy. We are not mum or quiet about a damn thing, no matter what or who. Sidebar. That's why it's important to know your moon sign and your rising sign, because I beg to differ. She does. She, there are parts of Robin that gives me Aries, and then there are parts of Robin that gives me something else. I don't know what else it is. Femtara, we're going to have to talk about it. <laughs> so Robin responded to this person and said this, I own everything I say and do. I can own something that did not happen, which is that conversation about the blog or rumor. Giselle never brought it up to me. I hadn't heard one word discussed about it prior to this moment in this clip, hence not knowing what Wendy was talking about. For whatever reason, someone felt it was necessary to edit the audio and throw me under the bus. So she denies even knowing about the Eddie rumors. Well, in a new interview, Dr. Wendy Acefo says it was Robin who brought her the Eddie rumors. Shout out to all of our friends. And I have the link. You know, we always cite our sources here on the channel. And if we don't, it's because we forgot. <laughs> so forgive us. Forgive us. We always try to cite our sources. And shout out to all of the blogs, uh, Bra the Bravo Sh Shade Room, All True Tea, uh, the Peach Report Daily, Tamara Tattles. We have another story about the Real Housewives of Atlanta coming up at 6.15 p.m. Eastern. Subscribe to the channel. We have more information. What's going on, everyone, in my TikTok chat? What's going on, everyone, in my YouTube chat. I see you guys. I see you. I have so many different screens going on right now, y'all. Just studio vibes. Studio vibes. All right. Let's get into this. So let me just, and shout out to my girl, Layla Lynn. As you know, we have our weekly Real Housewives of Potomac recap on all of our channels. I think this week it's Layla Lynn's channel. Yes, it's Layla Lynn's channel. We're going to do a Real Housewives of Potomac. Me, Layla Lynn, and Grace Report. We do that every single week, every Monday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to check that out. Layla captured some of the audio from this interview. And shout out to the Jasmine brand. That's another blog that I want to shout out as well. This was their interview. So I just want to play a little bit of a clip. And I'm going to play it from Layla Lynn's video. As always, we cited her in our description. Let's get into this, y'all. Hold on. And while I'm and looking, while we're getting into this, you know what I have to play? Hold on. No, I got to do this. I'm going to play this one because I always shade myself with this Robin gift in my videos. So we'll just play this while we play this audio. <laughs> Robin, she acted like she didn't know of the rumor. She was just like, well, what, what do people say? Blah, blah. But you know her and Giselle are really close. Do you believe that she genuinely didn't know what the rumor was at that point? Or do you think that she was playing stupid? Well, I'm going to give you something that um, y'all may not know. Okay, let's hear it. I found out about the rumor from Robin. Wait a minute. Correct. Robin texted me mm -hmm. about the rumor and said, Hey, girl, this blog said this about you. And said this about me, and they've been talking crap. So, so let's backtrack. This blog had—I don't know if they wrote an article or whatever. I went on YouTube. They talked about me. They talked about Robin. They talked about Giselle. Just talked about all of us, which is fine. I didn't care. Right. I didn't know about it. 
Robin texted me. I still got the text too. Robin texted me and said, girl, so-and-so blog said this and she typed verbatim what the rumor was. And they keep on talking crap about us. What type of lawyer is Eddie? So we can see if we can get this blog shut down. What? Rob, so, 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 here we go. <laughs> so, just so you guys know that. Yeah. So, when she says, what's the rumor? What's the rumor? <laughs> I'm looking at her like, so this is what we are doing today. I think later on. <laughs> this is what we're doing today, y'all. This is what we're doing today. This is what we're doing today. Oh, oh, Robin caught out there in a lie. So even in that moment, Wendy knew Robin knew because when, according to Wendy, Robin was the first one to bring the rumor to her. So she knew she was lying. And it's probably part of the reason why she blew up so much at Robin saying, talking about her fake relationship. And to eat a cracker, go to sleep. This is a mess. Let me see what you guys are saying. Um, exactly. Let me just remind you guys, this video also is linking you to our Hope for Haiti charity fundraiser. Shout out to Hope for Haiti, the charity. We are still raising money. We are trying to get to $5,000 before the month is over. As, as you may recall, Haiti experienced a 7.2 magnitude earthquake just a little bit under two weeks ago, they were still rebuilding and coming back from the 2010 earthquake that they had. And they experienced a, a hurricane that came through right after the, the earthquake. And they were having some really, really terrible political things going on at the assassination of their president. So we are still raising money for Hope for Haiti in, in the middle of this mess. Look, we got to do what we got to do. Just saying. We have over 300 and something people watching this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you can donate, please donate. It is an important cause, and every little bit counts. Thank you so much for the anonymous do donation. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Oh, Curvy, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys supporting the, not just, not supporting the channel, supporting this fundraiser that the channel is doing. So thank you. All right. So if you if you just join us, we're talking about Robin Dixon of the Real Housewives of Potomac being put under the bus by Dr. Wendy Acefo. Dr. Wendy Acefo is confirming that it was Robin who originally brought the rumors to her. It was Robin. But Robin may have had other motives in this particular moment, because as you may recall, this particular blog, All About the Tea, was the one reporting on this story. But they report on other stories, including stories about Robin. So according to Dr. Wendy Acefo, Robin reached out to her because really she wasn't trying to protect Wendy. She was really trying to protect her own storyline that was being slowly and slowly exposed, allegedly. <laughs> when is not Zen. You know what? I, 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 even with Dr. Wendy getting riled up about everything, even in last week's episode, she still, not that she was Zen when, but she wasn't, I didn't I didn't get like, oh my God, I'm scared of Wendy. Like, you know, I'm not scared of Doc. I'm I'm not scared of um Erica, but Erica's a little bit more scarier than Wendy. Just saying. Jessica says, Robin is such a follower under Giselle's left butt cheek, and it seems that wine don't even like her. If you saw the mid-season trailer, we talked about that yesterday. I don't remember. <laughs> the mid-season trailer talks about um Juan and Juan. Juan and, I was about to say Juan and Don. Juan and Robin's relationship. At one point, uh, Juan says, I'm done. We also are done, Juan. We are done with this fake storyline. Can you guys get on with it? Honestly, I would much rather see, and I'm not saying, I, I'm not trying to break up any happy homes, but this is not necessarily a happy home. I'd much rather see the real story. Shout out to, I think it was, I can't remember who it was. Was it Juan? Oh, I can't remember, y'all. One of you lovely callers called in. No, it was Twan. Twan said he, her real story is actually more entertaining, not even entertaining, but more relatable than what she is giving us as her fake storyline. 
But it seems as if her storyline is not the only thing that's fake. As I said, if you guys are just joining us, Robin had originally said in a response to a fan that th it was a voiceover, that she didn't know about the Eddie rumors, that her and Giselle didn't talk about these Eddie rumors in that particular moment. Well, Wendy is saying that's not true. The first person to bring this information to her was Robin Dixon. So it makes me wonder who brought the information to Giselle? Who brought the information to Giselle? Was it Robin? If Robin's the first person to bring it to Wendy, that says to me, you already know she was on the phone with Giselle. She was already on the phone with Giselle. Hold on, let me put, look, let me put. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. I can't even see right here. I got to make this bigger. There we go. Yeah, because I know this is the face she's giving me right now. Robin, you know Robin was the first one to bring it to Giselle before she even brought it to Dr. Wendy. I'm pretty sure. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. <laughs> Voiceover, really. Danielle says, let's, but let's admit that the scene that they're referring to is at, oh, we're, Danielle, did you just join us? Danielle, you were a little late. Don't play. But we did say that. It was voice. It was a voiceover. However, what Wendy is saying is that Robin denying knowing about these rumors or talking about these rumors was not true. Was not true. Uh, <laughs> you know, really? Um. Of course, she told her best friend. We all would. I, I And that's how I put it together. In a new interview with the Jasmine brand, Robin talked about, um, she's shocked that people are so surprised at how much she defends Giselle. She said, that's what you're supposed to do with a friend. And I said, yes, you should defend your friend when your friend is right. You should defend, or and you should also call your friend out when your friend is incorrect. It just seems as if, in, in that particular moment, Robin decided, m mind you, Giselle is being, is being what's, I don't want to say attack, but Wendy is talking to Giselle and saying, it's you call, bringing up these rumors. And she's just sipping. She's just sipping. So Robin decides to jump in. No one else is jumping in. But Robin is jumping in. That's the difference. That's the difference. And it's not like Wendy is getting on Giselle in a way that Giselle can't handle it. Giselle is crying or distraught. If anything, I wish people with the whole Erica and Sutton situation, I wish one of those women would defend Sutton. Because I feel like Sutton was being attacked by the bully Erica. But y'all don't call her bully. Why? I'll wait. I'll wait. D says, Robin doesn't strike me as the type that would, would lie on camera. But then again, she had been drinking quite a bit. D, do you know this, the rumors lie on camera? <laughs> Hi, Bob says, Robin was sent by Giselle to tell Wendy the rumor because the plan was for Gizzard Neck to come after Wendy. <laughs> the speculation, the speculation. All right, I'm going to take a couple of callers, but callers, brief comments, brief comments, because we're going live again to talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I wanted to get, get the story out to you guys, and I said, you know what, the easiest way is to go live, and I love talking with you live. It's, the interaction is so much better. It's like our live talk show. One day, mark my words. Are you marking my words? One day, daytime talk show, you, me, and, we, and you'll remind me in the audience saying, remember when you were talking about this? We see each other. Okay, let me drop the call in link. I want to hear what you guys are saying. If you haven't liked the video already, Robin Dixon already has disliked the video, which is okay, Robin. It helps. All right. <clears throat> let me just drop this call in link for you guys. And we're going to take some quick callers. And we have some Real Housewives of, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta news. TikTok, what's going on? I see you guys. Uh, someone in the TikTok said, Reagan says, nah, Robin knew. <laughs> Oh, you guys make me laugh so much. Don't forget, guys, if you're watching TikTok, head on over to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. We're live there. We are raising money. Hope for Haiti. The uh, next slide that we're doing, we'll have that there as well. 
every little bit counts right now, according to everyone involved in getting funds and helping Haiti during this crisis. They're saying funds are what are what is what's needed right now. There we go. I can't get the English out. Hold on. Samaya, so me either. Let me just link this here. There we go. Shout out to everyone in the chat. I love seeing, you know what it is? It's a lot of, unless you change your name constantly, I get familiar with a lot of you that are always here. Shout out. I don't know. I want bo Boxster Girl. I didn't want to give your government. <laughs> but we see each other. We talk. We talk. And that's another way for us to connect, guys. Let me post the the texting community so you guys can join me there. Don't forget, you can come a part of the texting community at textkempire.com. If you'd like to become a member of the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, head on over to teenkempire.com. Oh, damn. I didn't realize we had that many people in the chat. Hold on. Let, I didn't even look down. Hold on. Let me take, we're going to take some quick callers. Let me take Robin off of my screen because she's scaring me. Robin, you are scaring me, okay? You are scaring me. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's get some callers. All right. Danielle, I'm going to bring you up for a quick comment. What's going on, Danielle? Hey, happy Friday. <laughs> oh, thank you for the reminder. I just feel like I work every day, so. Oh, Yes. Okay, so now I'm about to come with the what ifs because I got different perspective. That's why I put in the comments, make me laugh, make me last because I got something to say. Okay, so we already recognize that this scene was edited. Cool. Yes. How do we not know that when Robin is saying, what rumor, what rumor? Is so many rumors out there. How do we know that Wendy is actually referring to the Eddie rumor, the Eddie sleeping around with another woman rumor? There weren't a lot of, of rumors about Wendy. There was only that rumor. No, I, I haven't even heard that rumor, so I don't even know. But again, we don't know because we. And I guess my thing is with Robin. I'm like Robin. I'm looking for Wendy to specifically say what she's talking about. Mm. She just kept saying the rumor, the rumor, the rumor. How did we not know that Wendy heard something that Robin hadn't heard? I just needed. I'm like Robin. I want you to clarify what you're talking about. Don't make me assume. I'm simply asking you a question. What rumor are you talking about? But she didn't want to say it because Wendy wanted her storyline to be about her new breast and her new butt and not about Eddie's cheating. Then, as far as... Oh, shucks. Sorry. This is what happened with a MacBook. Sorry. You know, sorry. I can try to all connected, so someone was calling me. It came down to my laptop. Okay, it's all sorry. Right. It's, it's never happened before with you. Appreciate it. So... As far as who told who what, I believe Giselle told Robin, because remember, Giselle is on the chat room, so she's all into social media, rumors, what's going on, because I just think that's part of her new job. I believe Giselle told Robin, I believe, and if we remember last season, Robin and Wendy already had like their own connection because they're both boy moms and they would go out on play dates and stuff. So I believe Robin did go tell Wendy that, but I don't know if it was a thing. Of, we just know that Wendy didn't really care for Giselle anyway, so it probably wouldn't have been received as well from Giselle. Mm. Um, so I think, yes, I do believe that Robin told her, but I think that one scene is Robin just trying to get clarification. What room are you talking about? Stop not saying it and just say it so we're not assuming we know what you're talking about. Mm. All right. All right, Danielle. We right. always appreciate your combative yeah. <laughs> I opinion. I, I like, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a straight shooter, pow, pow, pow. I'm team green eyes, but at the same time, I'll call them out when they're wrong. Okay. All right. I can appreciate that. Danielle, as always, we will be live again in sh in like 45 minutes for some Real Housewives of Atlanta tea. So right, be, see be ready. Week. See y'all in the comments and see y'all live in the next hour. Okay. <laughs> bye. Miki, I'm going to bring you up for a quick comment. What's going on, Miki? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I brought up, I brought up Bernice. Hello. 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 Either um, way, Miki, stay on the line. Don't hang up. Right. Don't, <laughs> don't hang up, Miki. Don't hang up, Miki. Um, I knew exactly what Rob was talking about because I was part of the Avatar thing when the rumor came out. Okay. And the Avatar was, was vehement about the rumor. But she never came up with proof of the rumor. Mm. He kept saying that allegedly that Eddie had get he had an affair with a co-worker and the co-worker got pregnant. But she never came up with any proof of this. Mm. 
Yeah. It was all speculation. So, and in the conversation that Wendy had with Robin, she said, well, is there a way we can sue the Avatar? So, Wendy is not going to bring that information to the TV to give that person light. So, I don't blame Wendy for not saying the person who was behind Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not finna give that person shine. But Robin playing dumb like she's in a you know, like her 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 um she turned into Ronald Reagan, I don't recall. Come on, Robin. Not Ronald Reagan. <laughs> really? Come on, you know, the Alzheimer's kicked in, you know, when they was asking him about the Iran Contra stuff, like he said, I don't recall. I don't recall the conversation. You know, Robin Robin is Robin is giving me those vibes. And I'm like saying, Come on, Robin. You messed up. And just face that you messed up. Simple yeah. as that. Yeah. You know, you told Giselle and Giselle went running with it. Okay? You that little Renfield going to Dracula like, Master, Master, I have something to tell you. <laughs> you know, that's 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 your role with Giselle. And Giselle went running with it because you wasn't you you don't have the backbone to run with it. We know this, okay? You we know your role. That's who you are, okay? And for one to say he out of here when it showed the preview, how can you be out of something you never would need? Oh, good point, Bernice. I mean, I felt the same way. I was like, okay, you you guys are okay. You, you over it? Why you don't even take invest? You you're not even invested in your children. Come on now, how many times have you seen? Why come and say, well, come on, boys. I'm going, you you spending the day with me. We're going to do daddy stuff. We're doing bonding stuff. How many times on this show have you seen Juan do that? Well, in all fairness, the show is edited, so I don't know. I don't want to attack their their parenting because I we don't know. You're right. We haven't seen it. We haven't we seen haven't, it. We, show, we haven't but, seen um, it. Yeah. Even even when he came in there and Rob was still asleep. I'm on like, well, I got her back. Come on, boys. We got to get up. School's about to start. Come on, get up. Go brush your teeth. Come on. Go, 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 go. He didn't do that. He came straight to Robin's room. Robin, you got to get the kids up, not me. I so, honestly think that, though, Bernice, I think that's just them, you know, digging deep into their storyline. Oh, she's sleeping. I don't really think, because that, that would be the obvious thing. I think right. any, anyone that was, I mean, if he was sleeping at the house, because you saw the you saw the side of the bed was all spread. Right. It was all <laughs> like, okay, whoa, the invisible man slept there. Okay. <laughs> Not the visible man. The Bernice, invisible get, man. Bernice, um, one last thought, and I want to get to everyone else. Okay. Any, anything uh, else? No, Erica is a bully. And she targeted, she targeted Sutton. But what Erica failed to realize is the wealth that you and Tom that went through is what um it was Sutton that came from. Sutton is from a wealthy family, and she married into a wealthy family. Wealth means it's generational. She can make money in her sleep. Erica, <laughs> Erica, you you can't do that because in the last in the last scene when there's in Tahoe, and Lisa Renner looked at her bracelet. Oh, she she said this vintage Cartier. How many of you helpers got vintage Cartier in your damn closet? None of y'all. So that means so that means she inherited it from her probably her great grandmama, passed it down to her mama, to her mama, to Sutton. So that's generational. Come on now. You're trying to attack Sutton, but you can't touch Sutton. That's that's what I because if I was because if I was Sutton, I would have laughed at your butt too. Why you saying you looking at her like what you got to say. And did you notice how she kept she kept eyeing Garcelle? I wanted Garcelle to be like in the Avengers when the Hulk and, 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 and Thor was Hulk. fighting. Yes. When the Hulk and Thor was fighting on the plane and they got it, they, they said, well, Hulk, uh, Thor said, we cool, we cool. And Hulk said, yeah. And then he took his arm and was like, bam! I wanted, I wanted Garcelle just to take her right arm and just knock the hell out of air. Right like, Okay. All right. Oh, just, just we, have one. we have digressed fully, but save those, <laughs> save those thoughts for this week. Uh, Sunday, just a reminder to everyone, Ben Carroll will be dropping by for our monthly live with her here on okay. the channel. So if you have a question that you have about career, love, those types of things, we also will be, will be talking about some of your favorite housewives, reality stars, those kinds of things. So stay tuned. Sunday, fun day. 
coming here on the Kempire Daily user channel. Bernice, thank you so much for always making me laugh. Okay, thank you. I, I love you, baby. I love you. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Miki, I'm going to take you, bring you up. What's going on, Miki? I apologize. What's going on, Miki? It's okay. Hi, Kempire. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Um, well, it's all, I mean, I feel like these women all know what, you know, what the bloggers put out about them. But mm -hmm. I think Wendy's issue is they put it on the show. And mm -hmm. Robin, see, she wanted Wendy in that scene to really get into what the blogger put out, what the rumor was. But she was just like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The messengers, they'll tell you. She wanted her to get into detail. Okay, you know, he has a mistress, he has a side baby, yada, yada, yada. But she's like, no. The problem is Giselle and Ashley, they, you know, they put it on the show. Yeah. But Robin, she was playing dumb. And I do believe that because uh, the one blogger that, um, the Avatar, last year, everybody that had a problem with Monique, she was putting out rumors about them. So I do believe Robin um, told Wendy, like, okay, how, like, let's shut her down. Like, this is getting out of control. Every week there's something new about one of us. Like, yeah, I do believe that. But I feel like Robin is always going to piggyback off of whatever Giselle is doing and, and make it a storyline because, I mean, Robin is really dry and... She, you know, she needs something to do. So, yeah, she's going to insert herself. And, yeah, she definitely wanted that moment. She definitely. And that's why Wendy was just like, you're just looking for a moment. And she was just like, what? But yeah, I'm not Robin looking for no is, other moment. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm not looking for no moment. Like, girl, you are. You're looking for a moment. You know, if y'all go back and forth, it's going to be on the show. But yeah, the, everybody knew about that rumor. But um, yeah, Robin, she's she. I don't even know why she's on that show. Like, I get it. You're like BFF with like Giselle. Giselle's like the face of the franchise. But she gotta go. She really gotta go. She is a liar. She's and she's like just own it. You know what I mean? Just own it. All right, Miki, I'm going to get to some last calls because we're about to go live again to talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thank you so much for calling in. All right. Um, we're going to take a couple more callers. Guys, don't forget, we have over 600 and something people watching this video. Like the video. It's an easy and free way of supporting the channel. This, we are currently talking about the Real Housewives of Potomac. Some more information has come out about these Eddie rumors. Allegedly, Robin, well, according to Dr. Wendy Seffo in a new interview with the Jazz and Branch, he says... Robin's the one who originally brought this information to her. And it wasn't something her denying knowing about it at that particular moment was untrue, according to Dr. Wendy Acefo. Let's get a, a couple more callers. Sharice, I'm going to bring you up. Is this Sharice from, from Potomac? No, this ain't no Sharice from Potomac. I'm going to mess with you, Kemper. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, got excited. What's going yeah. on? Nothing much. Um, and well, I'll say something that Sharice said in the season three reunion. Robin is a liar, liar. Okay, because here is my thing that probably happened during that whole scuffle between Giselle and Wendy. I feel like when Wendy was like pointing fingers and going directly to each one of them, they cut away from Robin. So we don't know what Wendy might have been, what her reaction would have been when Rob, when Robin told her, no, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. So I feel like with Wendy at that point, she knew, she knew who she was dealing with. She's like, okay, great. You're on the hit list next. Let me just clear through Giselle first. I got you coming. Mm -hmm. So I think what is going to happen is Wendy is playing this season smarter. And I think she might take a page out of Monique's book and instead of a binder, she'll bring a dissertation. So she's going to lay everybody out at the reunion and she's going to come for all of their necks. So oh. I'm here for it all. Okay. All right. Um, Charisse, we, ex we appreciate the exclusive. Thank you for calling in. Anytime. <laughs> all right. Um, that's some really good in information, Charisse. That's got me, that's got me interested. All right. All right. Okay, guys. We have, I only have 
One more caller I'm going to take. One more caller. Mel, I'm going to bring you up in just a second for a quick comment. If you're just joining us, we're talking about the Wendy Eddy rumors. The Wendy Eddy rumors. TikTok, if you're just joining us and you're wondering what we're talking about, we're talking about the Real Housewives of Potomac. Shout out to the Real Housewives of Potomac. I know some of you might not like the channel. That's okay. That's okay. Luckily, I don't care if anyone likes me or not. I'm not one of those people. Um, but you guys are having a great season. I'm entertained and the ratings are up. The ratings are up. If you missed our recent video on the Real Housewives of Potomac, the ratings have reached over a million. I think it was like 1 million and 36,000 viewers. The ratings are up, and I think they're going to continue to be up. That's part of the reason why Bravo just released the mid-season trailer for the Real Housewives of Potomac. It looks good. We, we're going to see some more beef between Mia and Candace, more beef between Ashley and Candace. I, I'm sure this Eddie rumor thing is going to be the continued storyline for the rest of the season. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how this all plays out for the rest of the season. Again, guys, as always, we've cited our sources in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Also, this video and the next live that we're about to do in the Real Housewives of Atlanta, we have linked our charity fundraiser for Hope for Haiti charity. I saw a couple people in, in the chat talking about that. Guys, we have cited a really great charity that's doing the work that is accredited. I made sure I looked up the information before I decided on this particular charity. Right now, we need to be able to help help Haiti. We can't just say, oh, I don't know where the, where the money's going. Okay, so what is, what is that doing? Are you doing anything? And every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. And I appreciate to everyone that's already donated, that's already shared the donation link. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to my mods that are in the chat room. Appreciate everyone that's already donated. And shout out to everyone that's already called in. Mel, I'm going to take you take a quick call. And that's it. And then we'll be back later. What's going on, Mel? Hey, TGIF, um, Mr. Kempai, how you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Again, Pam, pray hands up for the work that you're doing for Haiti, which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. You know what? I don't, I can't, I don't have really a sermon to go into. I just want to say Not that uh, I don't, well, you know, sometimes the call is like a blah, blah, but um, yeah, just Robin, just Robin. I think that um, in general, I, I think that she might need to go. I think she might need to go. I think that um, Karen said it best that a couple of seasons ago, she said that she, excuse my French, excuse my French. She said she was the dizziest bitch at the table. So, well, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. You know, I think that she was telling the truth. I think she was telling the truth. I think that sometimes it doesn't land. The, the information with her, her deliveries and everything doesn't land. I think she was a realist when she was combative with Ashley because for some reason she was, she was very, um, you know, invested in her relationship. She doesn't seem even invested in her own family right now. She loves her children, but it just seemed nothing is connecting. So uh, for it to come out that she was confused or lying about something, I'm not shocked. She seems confused. She, you know, I'm not. She seems confused all the time. To be honest with you, I mean, it's really crazy. You know, it, I, we don't. I, it, who is she? We don't really know who she is. We don't know. So, yeah, I, I think that Robin to me is very boring, very bland, and um, she was interesting a couple of seasons ago. Actually, when Sharice was on the show, I liked their dynamic, but since then, um, no, 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 no. I think she's very dizzy. Yes, I do. I think she's very busy. All right. All right, Mel. Thank you so much for calling in. You're welcome, sir. All right. All right. Got, I'm gonna, Carlos, I'm going to take a quick comment from you in just a second. If you're just joining us, we're talking about the Real Housewives of Potomac. We got some more information in regards to who heard about these Eddie rumors. If you are watching this replay, shout out to our replay crew. Let me know your thoughts on why you think Robin lied about this. Or if you don't think Robin lied about this, and this is just a mix-up. I can't wait for the reunion. Why am I doing this? Because it's juicy. Anyway, all right. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we lost. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going live at 6.15, maybe a little bit earlier, because I'm ready to talk about this Real Housewives of Atlanta news. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. There's already a link available on the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. Head on over there. We're going to go live. Also, if you're not subscribed to my podcast, Kempire Radio, subscribe to the channel on here. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try and record the podcast live on the Kempai Radio YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed there so you don't miss out on that live because I will be reacting to your comments. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fantastic evening. 
I'll see you in just a few minutes, all right? We're gonna talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta in just a couple of minutes. Thank you to my mods. Thank you to everyone that donated to our Hope for Haiti cause. You still have time to donate. Let's get to $5,000 for Haiti. Appreciate you all being here. See you guys later. Bye.